Hey guys, what's up? Um, we're on round two of uh, bracket making, and um, I kind of skipped ahead. Um, we'll forego the all the cutting I did on this bracket um, and uh, focus on kind of the, I guess, last leg of the run. Last video, in my opinion, went a little long, and I'm not sure how you guys feel about watching other people make stuff. Some people like it. I like watching, um, you know, guys like Farmcraft and uh, the Project Binky guys on, um, what is it, uh, Bad Motor, or Bad Obsession, something like that. I can't remember the name of their channel. Anyways, Project Binky. Look it up. You'll, you'll dig it if you're not aware of it. Step two. No, I, I should get a step drill. I really should. Otherwise, they'll uh, catch. So, there you go. There's the first two holes. These top two, I got to do some measuring before I start drilling. Um, but uh, these these should be pretty close to right. And the uh, difference between the, the screws or the bolts for the license plate and these holes should be enough to allow me to align the license plate onto the bracket, regardless of whether or not these are exactly the same um, distance from that bend. So again, it, it should be fine. Um, oh, well, I left it inside. But the idea here in terms of painting this is um, once I get it cleaned up and, and ready to mount, uh, I want to do some wrinkle finish on it. I think that'll help hide my sins and uh, also be kind of a, a nice look for the tail section of the bike. Again, no one's going to see it. I mean, literally, the way that I have this set up you won't see this unless you get under the bike and look, and then it at what point does it actually matter, you know? So. All right, there we are, cleaned up. Yeah, I'm just not sure. You know, maybe I should just go, you know, if I'm not sure about it, maybe I should just, what I'm thinking is maybe I just cut a, a, you know, an angle straight from that corner over and just be done with it. That way I remove the question from my mind whether or not I should have or could have or didn't. that's better I mean I could keep going and keep going on this but I don't want to you know basically overdo a bracket a bracket that no one's gonna see I mean you guys are seeing me make it all right so these are the uh, two bolts that I'm gonna 
line up against uh, for this bracket. And um, hey, good news is I'm just placing this up here and I can see uh, that the the original the two holes that I already drilled are lining up perfectly. So that's that's good news. We like good news. I also feel where I missed a spot in cleaning up that edge. There's a little bit of a ridge there. I need to fix that. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove these two bolts. And what I can't remember is whether or not there's nuts holding it in place up here. Um, but what I'm gonna do is remove these two, pull this off as an assembly, then take these holes and line them up on this bracket so that I get the spacing right. And these holes are centered to where they need to be on this bracket. So let me do that. All right. All right, so having removed the seat, I can see that um, there's just some captured nuts up here. So that's good. That makes life a little easier. I don't, what I don't know is whether or not um, I'm gonna end up misaligning something up here, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And these are uh, T25 um, screws. So just in case you were wondering, you probably <laughs> So yeah, you can kind of see what I was talking about that, that these are literally just shelf pieces. Um, kind of no bueno in my opinion. So, and please don't consider me to be a professional bracket maker. I mean, there, there are definitely better ways of doing this. And some of you are probably screaming at your monitors right now saying, don't do it that way. That's not how you do it. Um, but you know, this is live action, baby. All right. So as I'm looking at it, Good. It's all right. The bracket is centered on the bike. As I look at, oh, I'll just move it. That's great. As I look at the, the uh, tail section, I can see with my own eye that that is pretty much centered. So what I'm going to do is draw the outline of the hole. You can see there. So I know I have to get it within that space, right? So I have, I'll, I'll uh, clean it up, but basically what I'm saying is I'm giving myself some coordinates to hit and I'm also giving myself a rough area. So as I figure out what the center line is here and I'll use my caliper, I mean, that may be a little too exact, but matter of fact, I got a tape measure. I'll just probably use that. As I get that center line, figured out here, I draw across and then bring these lines down straight down with a straight edge. And then that gives me the area that I need to hit and get my drill bit between, right? So that when I mount this up here, um, the holes are centered to these two parts of the bracket and um, are also um, a little straight-ish. All right. So as you can see, I kind of went back on where I was over there. Um, these were the marks that originally made. And then what I ended up doing is flipping the bracket up and looking at how it was centered on the bike. And because the bracket itself isn't perfect, when I flipped it up, where I made these holes, where as I lined all that up, um, the bracket was shifted to the right, sorry, to the right of the bike a little bit too far. And so, what I ended up doing was getting the bracket line of sight, you know, centered from perspective on the back of the bike and then slowly rolling that forward and finding out, well, this is where the marks need to be. And so I just got a piece of paper and uh, extended those lines down. And then There's the half inch mark. You can kind of see what I was getting at. So that's where I need to use my center punch, make my marks, and start drilling. 
guys so at this point we're ready to uh, clean off the piece and we'll hang it up over there in the ink booth but this is covered in you know grease and oil and uh, grit so this is just some VP brake clean which is by the way again I'm not sponsored by anybody but if you're looking for some pretty good brake clean this is good stuff I'm, I'm sure there's another brand that you may prefer and that's your prerogative um, I've used a lot of different brands of brake clean and uh, I definitely like this one a lot so I'm gonna let this dry and um, we'll come back after I have painted it with wrinkle finish um, it takes a long time for the wrinkle finish to actually wrinkle so what I'll do is stop here, finish the painting, and come back when it's done and uh, showcase my, uh, my bracket. All right, guys, we're in the final phase of the license plate bracket. This is the VHT Wrinkle Plus high temp uh, spray that I used. It's um, very easy to, to use. Um, you put on at least three heavy coats and then let it dry for about two hours and you get a nice wrinkle finish. Um, per the directions, it says to uh, cure it, um, well, it says allow 48 hours before reassembling the parts, right? So we're still not there yet. That's why it's sitting here. And then uh, to put it in an oven it, to, to cure for um, one hour at 200 degrees. So I went ahead and did that. And unfortunately, <laughs> I got a little boo-boo right there. Luckily, it's it's not a big deal. I mean, the license plate will cover that up. Um, you really won't see it. It's not fragile or anything. You know, it's not like coming off on my finger, as you can see. So we're, we're okay there. Um, yeah, I could sand it back down and, and redo the whole thing, but I'm not. I mean, I just don't think it's worth that kind of level of effort. I mean, it is a homemade bracket, and it's meant to serve one purpose, and that's to hold a license plate. Two days later. All right, so we're now at the point where we can uh, get the bracket mounted up. And hope that we got everything set up correctly. And that it'll just work, right? All right, so I guess the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I'll get the uh, license plate mounted. Um, but that's, I thought I would just showcase how good this looks on the bike. It's unobtrusive, which is kind of what you want. You don't want this big old honking thing hanging out. Um, and uh, it's not readily visible, which is also what I wanted. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's a license plate bracket. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, peace out and keep it between the ditches.